Hello, hello, and welcome to Ascended Stars Glass Heart Divination, brought to you by Ali Jade. Thank you so much for um, being a subscriber, a watcher, a commenter, and uh, happy, happy Valentine's Day, month of February, and happy Fire Rooster Chinese New Year. We are actually, this is really, really the beginning of the year because all the planets have been retrograde. And um, I did a whole spiel 15 minutes into it, but I'm really on the zone of getting your readings out to you. So um, I am going to go ahead and do that. And I'm feeling, you know, frisky, shall we say. Um, spontaneous again. It was such a hard month um, last month month uh december with this uh retrograde energy i it really hit me hard so um i hope you guys are doing well but i'm gonna go ahead and see who wants to come up here for your reading uh let's see who it is who's this gonna be i'm changing it up changing everything up i've been stagnant for far too long taurus taurus this is for you this is your february 2017 year reading and this is um really kind of the first the first of the um of the beginning of the year because we've been in this stagnant energy our brother side of capricorn kept us held up all right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to do basic energetics um you know this is an esoteric reading it's not going to resonate with everybody so please check your uh rising moon and ascendant no your sun rising and ascendant so maybe it comes in on another pathway the messages want to come in um so i'm gonna just do my my spread where i do and i just do the esoteric reading and then i'm also going to do a week by week analysis of what's happening so, um, like I said, I am changing it up. Taurus, what do we have for you? Oh, gosh. I guess that will stay like that. Good, good, good. Nice. Wow. Wow. Powerful, guys. Powerful. Okay, so what I have here is... Um, <laughs> I don't know. Hold on. Um, yeah, we have the uh, Six of Swords. And you're going on an emotional journey right now. You're taking a risk. Um, it looks like you're taking some kind of monetary risk with your career. Um, but the hard work is going to pay off. Okay. If you, which you guys are hard workers, it's going to pay off. Um, I think this energy of you being, um, very stern and sticking to your guns, um, kind of striking when the iron is hot is working to your benefit. Now do be careful. Um, don't be careless and don't be too rigid minded. You do have to leave some lee room there. Um, you have the lovers. So a choice in the month of February is something that's going to come up. And you also have uh, the Hierophant, which is your card, um, which is you. So you're coming up in your own reading here and very much you'll be in your own um element in the month of february the month of love so that's beautiful um you're sticking to the tried and true and it seems to be working for you um you're kind of afraid of not being uh recognized not being noticed and being left out in the cold. Um, you have a very caring and tender way, but you kind of feel that um, it might be an oversight. It might be something that hinders you. These are all just fears, though. 
okay um they're not relevant they're you're you're working from a fear based basically um i think it's because you're on this emotional journey right now um trying to establish yourself perhaps in a new field in a new career in a new um venture the choice is i think if you should stick with old ways what's tried and true or um you know kind of kind of go uh spont spontaneity take a more spontaneous way or take a more traditional way um that might be your choice you know it might be your choice in lovers too it might be someone who's more uh doesn't like to plan is spontaneous or someone who's like well what are we gonna do how you know uh we're gonna meet here or we're gonna do this um you know i think you're more of that type of individual but you're attracted to the spont you're you're attracted to kind of spontane spontaneity right now it seems like um and there's a choice to be made you know there's a choice to be made my main concern is don't be careless whatever you do think it out okay um that's that's the main junks of what i get with this spread now i'm gonna go ahead and do the uh week by week okay and i'm sorry i didn't show you these cards this is just kind of the esoteric part they're not really intended um for everybody so you can call me up reach out to me for your uh own energies and i'll gladly give you your own reading okay so uh for this one i'll show you what, what i have here we have a traditional deck and we're going to do it week by week for taurus week one week two week three and week four and then I use another little deck here just to um, give me some more clarity as to how that week's going to play out. Robert Hansen deck. Okay, let's do this. And like I said, I do want to make these short and sweet for you guys. I will do the love readings, of course, in the month of February um, for for the romance so week one for taurus what do we have the chariot wonderful so ironically enough i have a taurian friend who just got a new car <laughs> so this could have to do with getting a new car i have to mention that but um this is you're going for it uh this is the the, uh, the card ruled by cancer you're going for it you are uh, manifesting this is an action card and it's it's manifesting so um it tells me that you are no longer living in fear you're basically um ruling your mind is ruling your actions and you're going for it so uh the first week of february finds you um quite busy quite active um hustling and bustling and it's it's completely to your liking so that's a wonderful energy page of rods yeah um this is the curious uh rambunctious child but um fire is going to be a big element this year going into 2017 and so is water so we have um venus going into aries on the on the uh, third of this month so this is kind of that fiery energy where you are going for it um you know you're coming out of your shell is what i get if you have been in a shell maybe you'll be more social more um ready to mingle and uh you're passionate about what you're doing is what i get too so that's a nice energy you're in a good good space now week two another major arcana we have the fool so you um are traveling light and you're really uh off to a new adventure you've taken on the mindset where you're just gonna enjoy life and really get into um the here and now and not really uh be involved with the past too much 
you know, you know the universe is going to take care of you. Another beautiful bright card. Five of rods. So I think what I see is um, any any beliefs that you've had, um, any doubts that people are putting, um, you know, in your arena, in your sphere, sphere. Uh, you're, you're, you're combating them. You're not paying attention to them. You're not feeding the beast of negativity. Um, yes, you, you're taking them into consideration, but you're still going to do your own thing. And that's very ele ele evident with the chariot. And, um, even though people, you know, want to be told what is going to happen every nook and corner of your life and what's happening, how it's going to play out. You're not paying any mind to it because you're trusting in the universe, which is a beautiful energy. This is a zero. You're starting from zero. Your, your slate is clean. You are in a good space and um, you're not letting the naysayers get to you. Okay. Again, this could be also there will be naysayers. They will try to get to you. Remain positive. Remain in, um, in the light. Uh, and, and don't let them affect you, okay? Um, because you have two major arcanas, lots of yellow, lots of passion um, coming here for the next two weeks playing out. Not a bad situation at all, Taurus. Um, there's going to be haters, okay? I'm telling you that much. There's going to be haters because people are going through some bad struggling times right now so when they feed you their their um doubts and negative negative energy just remember it's them that they're reflecting on not on you okay because when people say things typically especially if it's a bad thing they're really talking about themselves because how else are they going to collect this information you know um it's it's you got to be you got to really tap into people's words when they speak it's really about themselves yet they might be directing it towards you i'll leave that behind me so um week three week three wow things kind of really change uh you are now pretty stressed out here you're um not being able to sleep anxiety maybe you're overworking maybe you're over pushing you got the, a lot of this fire energy venus your ruling planet going for it um and and you feel like you can uh you know jump on top of the world but we're only human pace yourself darling pace yourself i really get that because when you work hard you sleep quite good you know when you work hard even when you play hard, but when you work hard, um, you're able to get a good night's sleep because your body's been working all day and it needs its rest. Um, you know, here you are. It's interesting. We have this like new zero energy, the clean slate, and then right next to it, you have the nine, excuse me, the 10 of swords. Um, so you're still, you know, this is very true to a lot of the other signs. We're still purging out a lot of the uh, old beliefs and the negativity that came from the last few years. Um, so yeah, allow uh, this purging to take place, okay? Um, that would be the best option. Now, the universe or someone is handing you something that you're not really um, too inclined to take in the third week. Um, I hear, let me ease your burden, okay? So I hear that. I hear that kind of clearly. Someone's going to come and, and try to help you and, and, and be like, let me ease your burden. Let me assist you. Um, even in all this like cycle of anxiety and not being able to sleep and um, doubts in the middle of the night popping up out of nowhere, uh, someone's going to try to assist you and help you. There will be an assistance and a help coming. You may not feel like wanting to take it, but you may need to. Okay, you may need to. Um, maybe you have something on your mind, on your chest, on your heart that needs to be released and expressed. And... Um, 
you're having a hard time you're holding you're holding something you're carrying something heavy um yeah week three it's all gonna kind of bubble up and you're gonna have to face it okay okay week four another major arcana the lovers This is the second time you got the lovers because in my other spread you had lovers in the middle. A choice is, is going to... All this is building up to a choice. Okay, I see it now. I see it. All this is coming up to the point where you're going to make a choice. Now, typically, this is a reflective of a partnership, usually uh, two women that you're deciding upon or, you know, I have a lot of female watchers, um, two men that you're deciding upon, two passions, two desires. In the month of February on Valentine's, um, you might have a lot of action going on, and um, but I see them naked, okay, and I see uh, the choice very, uh, very much, very strong. So your choice is to become vulnerable because, like I said, there's something weighing on your heart, and you're not expressing it, you're repressing it. Um, and it's holding you back from manifesting stuff because you're ready to go and you think that, yeah, I can do this. But um, with Venus in the fire element, it does uh, ask us to get in touch with our, ourselves, to our nurture ourselves, to heal ourselves, to um, be in touch with our feminine selves, to balance the feminine and the masculine. So um, with that said, that what was the other thing I was going to say was um, vulnerability. Okay, they're naked. So, um, you know, having that shell, that exterior, you're strong, you can do it, you're the you're the rock. Um, yeah, that's all true, but we all need human connection. We all need to um, feel appreciated. We all need that. So some, somehow this is related. There's a choice here. And let's see what this card says here. Whoa. Six of Swords. Again, this one came out too. Six of Swords. An emotional journey. Okay. Again, I think it's connecting with your emotions. And this is happening a lot. I see this um, purging, this continuous purging. And it's just like releasing, releasing, releasing. Um, so by week three, something happens where you're going to have to... Um, you're, you're not feeling... It is the Nine of Swords. I said the Ten of Swords. No, it's the Nine of Swords. Um, you're you're staying up at night. Something's holding you back and you're not feeling good. Um, and it's causing a lot of anxiety. Then you move into week four and you didn't make a choice. You, you didn't decide, are you going to take this offer or not? And then it's, it's popped its head in the fourth week and um, you've got to make a choice. And you've instead decided, well, you know what? I'm just going to go on an emotional journey right now. I, I, I don't even see you making the choice. So, um, interesting, interesting, very interesting month of February. We do have the eclipse happening. I, I hopefully I, I'm going to attach that video on here. If not, I have it on my Scorpio video, all the activity that's happening in the month of February. It's a game changing month preparing us for March where Venus is going to go into retrograde, which is your ruling planet Scorpio. I mean, uh, Taurus, um, yeah, lots of good things. I think it's a lot of your own mental anxiety causing you to um, stop, stop and, and um, lose the momentum. But you have the chariot. This is a great spread, actually. The chariot. Um, see? See? The Chariot, the Fool, the Nine of Swords, and the Lovers. All, a lot of major playing uh, energy here. So a lot of change is going to happen, I think, for you. Um, all in this little, small, concise amount of time. Fiery elements and uh, water. And again, like I said, Pisces and, Fi and, and uh, Aries, play, big players in this year, already presenting themselves in the month of February. All right, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I'll come back at you with the um, romance spread because I don't want these to go too long. All right, take care. Have a wonderful, wonderful month of February. God bless.